Metro Road Trip. She is very proud of. As Julie climbs to gain some altitude for the start of her routine, let me tell you a little about Julie and her unique airplane. And unlike others you will see performed today, has never designed for was never designed for air show use. Ladies and gentlemen, the lights are on, the smoke is on here in March Air Force Base, California. Mopar and American Aerobatics proudly present Captain Julie Clark flying her beautiful Mopar G34. Her first maneuver, Julie pulls into a loop with a 90 degree turn on the top. As she pulls out at the bottom of the loop, she converts airspeed to altitude for her next maneuver, the hammerhead. The hammerhead is sometimes called the stall turn as she pulls the stick back in her lap, pulling about four G's to establish her vertical climb. This, ladies and gentlemen, is, is four times her own body weight. Julie takes the airplane to absolute zero airspeed, kicks in hard left rudder, and just at the right moment, applies full opposite aileron. While Julie's Mopar T-34 is capable of aerobatics, it is much larger and heavier than most of its air show airplanes. Recovering from her hammerhead turn, she's gaining airspeed once again to set up for the popular Cuban 8. The Cuban 8 is a horizontally figure 8 inscribed in the sky. Julie pulls into a 5G three-quarter loop as she comes over to the top. She stops the loop by pushing the stick forward, establishing a 45 degree downline as she executes a half roll. Her airspeed builds up, giving the aircraft the energy it needs to execute another 5G roll, thus completing the second half of the Cuban 8. Now Julie again pulls up to the 45 degree angle, this time holds it for just a moment before rolling the airplane and put it into a half roll. She now will execute the reverse Q8, which not only directs her back to show center, but sets up nicely with lots of airspeed for her next maneuver, the difficult four-point hesitation roll. As she comes over the top, she is getting ready to count the rolls with me. Gaining her speed at 170 knots. to Mopar, the Parts and Accessories Division of Daimler Chrysler. Julie now asks that we say nothing more as she flies her personally choreographed aerial ballet to God Bless the USA. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Julie's tribute to our United States of America. Let's just watch.
Joey now extends your landing gear on the top side of the implement while in the inverted position. As she circles around that prepares for landing, let me tell you a little more about Captain Julie Clark. As I mentioned earlier, Julie is a recently retired captain for Northwest Airlines. In 1976, she became one of the first women in the United States to fly for a major airline. Julie flies an average of 20 to 25 air shows each year and has performed before tens of millions of people. She has appeared in some of the biggest air shows in the United States, Canada, and the island of Bermuda. Just recently, Julie was inducted into the Women in Aviation International Pioneer Hall of Fame. This very special award recognizes women who have made significant contributions to the aviation industry as record setters, pioneers, or innovators with special consideration given to women who have helped other women to become successful in aviation or open doors of opportunity for other women. Julie just recently had her biography published by Women in Aviation Incorporated. The book was written by renowned aviation author Ann Lewis Cooper. Julie will have her book Nothing stood in her way, available today at her trailer, where she will personally autograph it for you. Other awards Julie has received include the prestigious Art Show Memorial Award for Showmanship, awarded to her by the International Council of Air Shows in 1998. In 1993, she was inducted into the International Forest of Friendship at Amelia Earhart's residence in Atchison, Kansas, for her exceptional, very proud Americans. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for, for Captain Julie Clark.